So are you gonna celebrate 4th of July, whether it's just your family, or are you gonna have a party, your first party this year? Well, whatever you're doing, make sure it's safe. But in today's video, it's all about the 4th of July crafts, decor, things you can make. Remember, I've been telling you to save those paper towel rolls. <laughs> and I can't wait to show you all the things I have on my coffee table to celebrate the 4th in America. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. And in case you're wondering, I'll be 70 years old this year. And why do I say it? Because if I can do it, you can do it to at any age. All my subscribers, I love you so much. I just appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. You don't want to miss any of my lifestyle, decorating, DIY, and shopping haul videos. Okay, you guys, I've cleaned off my coffee table. This is DIY Crafts for June Part 2. And why am I showing you 4th of July in June? Because... If I wait till July 1st, you don't have enough time to make these things. So I'm going to be making you all kinds of crafts with cupcake liners. Oh my God, I can't wait to show you that. Uh, we're going to be doing pinwheels and flowers and banners and decor. You can decorate tags and bags with them. We're going to talk about making faux fireworks. I know you can buy some in the store, but I've made some really cute ones out of paper towel rolls. So without further ado... I'm so excited. I love fireworks. I love 4th of July. I love America. Let's celebrate it. I can't wait to show you all the crafts I made that you can make too. So I hope you love it. I hope you get inspired and I'm going to see you in the next video. Happy 4th of July. All right, you guys, I have so much to show you here. Um, I'm going to start over in this corner here and I want to show you all the crafts that I made with these cupcake liners. Okay, so here's what they are, the regular cupcake liners. You just take them and you're going to squash them down and then you gather them up until they form a circle. It's really easy. You can't mess this up very much. I press mine down in the center really well. And um, look how adorable these are. Now I punched out my, with my star punch. I punched out, this is red glitter, and I just glued it, taped it onto this um, straw, and you have like a little wand or something you can wave. And this one, I actually made a pinwheel out of straws. I just cut them and glued them to a center and put a little a flower on them. And then when you come over to the center here, you can see how I've used the pinwheels on a little tag. Again, this is a Kleenex box, you guys. And this is my favorite paper from Hobby Lobby. It's loose, you know, in the bins. And it has this writing on it that um, is so light, but it goes with everything. Now these were three uh, stars from Dollar Tree, you know, these. So this one is the red and white stars. I'm gonna keep them with red and white stars on one side because you know what? I might want to sometime um, have more glitzy stuff going on. But what I did is I took this old fashioned paper and I wanna show you what I used. This is also from Hobby Lobby, you guys. And what I did is I came in with my paper um, star punch and you can punch out, you know, stripes or stars or a combination of them. And then here's another one. You can see how I have a little bit of the stars and stripes. And then that one. And then here's my big star. This is just a wooden star I got at Christmas time at um, Dollar Tree. I wrapped it with twine, put one of my, um, uh, my pinwheels on. I just cut this star out of red and white striped paper. You guys, if you want it to look like there's stitching on it, you just take a little black marker and just go like this and outline it. So it looks like it's been sewn. But anyway, I thought these were adorable. Um, I'm going to be putting those in an old trunk that I have, and I'm going to be putting them with these stars. Now, again, these stars, I actually drew stripes on for boards to look like it's shiplap, and I just dry brushed some white paint on there, and it looks like old boards. You can also get small ones. So I have red and white. I have every kind of paint. 
cupcake, uh, paper cupcake liners. Another thing you can do is to make a wreath. You guys, these are all cupcake liners with the same star punch. You can see I've used different jean paper here, paper from that uh, piece I just showed you, and then some other paper. And I just glued this on one of these from, you guys saw these at Dollar Tree when I hauled them. You can use them. Here's the double ones I was just talking about. So you just take it on the back, flatten it down, just gather it together, and I just glue something else on top of it. And you can see I have the one cupcake liner, the red and white polka dot, a little blue button, and then a twine bow. And when you put that on a gift bag, you can see how adorable that looks. If you're going to have a little party for 4th of July and want to give out some treats, that is adorable. Here's another bag that I made. I just put some lace across. And again, you can attach this little pinwheel. And then I made another little pinwheel to go up in there in the corner. Let me show you what else I got at Dollar Tree. I got this. I don't know what you call this. It's like spiral, wired, silver stars. Pick this up. You can use this at Christmas, at 4th of July, so many other times. And then I did get these sprays in blue and red, okay? Again, anything sparkly like that just looks like 4th of July, I think. I'd say, Bonnie, I don't have those at my Dollar Tree. Look what I made. I took my little star uh, punch and some wire, and I just glued the stars all the way on so I could you're gonna see this probably on a wreath or something else I'm going to show you it's like making your own little embellishments now I want to say one thing if you're making anything for tear trays and you want a little these little signs or little pieces from your paper pack take a piece of paper towel roll and just glue it on or a toilet paper roll and now your little sign will stand up I did another cupcake liner like that, and then here's another little sign. You're gonna see my 4th of July tear tray, and I had all those in there. Now, you guys know I showed you a while back, I had bought these little things that have the little plumes on them. That's the little thing that was in the top there. Um, and I told you I was gonna take it all apart. Well, I did take it all apart, and let me show you what I made here. I made some firecrackers. Remember how I said to save your paper towel rolls? Well, I took three paper towel rolls. Here's one almost the full length. One that's about two inches smaller and then another one that's two inches smaller. And I kind of left it plain so you could see what I did. I actually stuck a piece of foam, you know, that green foam. I cut a cylinder and just stuck it in there. But what I did is I glued them together, put some little burlap bow on there. And now I took some of this stuff from this and twirled it around and stuck it in there. I also use my silver stuff. Where is it? <laughs> I also use my silver stuff and cut it into pieces and put it in. So you can see, I you're gonna see this on one of my mantles, but it is so adorable. You guys, this on your mantle, on a table, on a picnic table, on your party table, your dessert table, it is absolutely adorable. Now, let me show you what I did in the back. So these are full paper towel rolls. You guys, I used a blue and um, kind of off-white uh, starred paper with, this is actually in the Christmas section. It's got the stripes going this way. And then there's that piece of paper again that I used. It's kind of a vintage -y, primitive looking piece of paper. And there I put it in a box. I have USA there. That was also a sign from Dollar Tree. And I use skewers. Remember when I bought those skewers? I told you I'm not using them for barbecue. I'm using them to launch these vintage antique firecrackers. Isn't that just adorable? You guys, my mantle display, I had this in my mantle display. Now I did this set of fireworks a little different. I took those sparkly pieces off the top of that with the Dollar Tree thing I bought and I actually placed them and a couple of those. Doesn't that just look adorable? I had so much fun making all of these wonderful uh, crafts and decor for uh, 4th of July, you guys. I hope you love this. 
I hope you got inspired. Get those cupcake liners. Even if you're just going to make cupcakes, how cute would that look for 4th of July on a table and put a little flag in the top? Anyway, I hope you loved it. I want to wish you a happy, happy 4th of July. Have fun making these items, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.